this is the Yamaha F325D. Well known in the industry for many years as the, the guitar for students to start, begin on. Um, or at least it used to be. There are more options now because there are more companies and there's more um, competition. But for many years, teachers would say, get yourself a Yamaha F325D. You can pick these up anywhere between used maybe 100, 120, new 180, 199, something like that. <coughs> Somewhere in between anyway. And uh, you know these are laminate top with uh, mahogany back and sides, but they meet the standards for an entry level instrument um, made by a reputable maker, Yamaha. Some things I noticed about this one, uh, and I've had many over the years. Uh, the first thing I noticed that's different is that it does have a satin finished ma uh, mahogany neck, whereas the old ones had gloss. Uh, but otherwise it looks exactly like all the ones that I've worked on sold as beginner guitars to people over the years never had complaints um, you know rosewood board bridge black pick guard classic purfled edges and uh, rosette nothing fancy um, decent tuners good sound just a fantastic beginner guitar and they've kept up the quality and I think there are a lot of other companies um, when you look at their beginning guitars this is the one that they emulate um, so this is a Yamaha F325D uh, and I still would uh, recommend this for any beginner um, it's just stood the test of time there are other guitars that uh, look and play just as well as this one but there's something about Yamaha um, that transcends time, if you like. It's a rather poetic way of putting it. Uh, but they're just very, very reliable. Um, you know, it's not super high, high-end sound, but it's a very competent um, student guitar with with a good sound for the money. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to show this because this will go out the door. I've already started getting calls on this one. Um, Whenever you post a Yamaha, there's something in people's consciousness that, um, like, oh, uh, that's got to be a good deal, it's a Yamaha. Um, sometimes uh, with Fender you get that as well. Uh, I think, um, of course, I, you know that I prefer Yamaha's entry levels to Fender's entry levels, but, you know, people don't know that much about guitars. They know of those two brands, so when they hear of that, um, you know, they think that it that they're getting a reputable instrument. It's not the same with brands like Court, even though they're excellent. A lot of people that are just starting out in guitar playing have not heard of those companies, so they're a bit wary of them. Um, not true with Yamaha. Yamaha makes everything. Um, you know, a lot of guys buy a Yamaha guitar from me and say, oh, you know, I had a Yamaha motorcycle back in the day, or I have a Yamaha speedboat. Um, so it's just a brand that we're all conscious of, and um, seems to have maintained a uh, reputation for good craftsmanship. Uh, so I just wanted to show you this while, it, while I had it, because um, it will go out the door. Uh, it's unfortunate, really, that some other companies who make good guitars uh, just as good or almost as good as this can't get the same traction in public consciousness, but that's just the way it is. Uh, we're drawn to uh, things that are recognizable as humans. So. Uh, Yamahas never stick around for long when I list them. They tend to go very fast. Alright folks, see you next time.